So we're about to call Henry Rollins. He's an incredible activist in the LGBTQ plus community. You know him from Black Flag. And he's pretty much been everywhere in this country on his storytelling tours and all of that. So I'm going to talk to him about some advice going into this election. Let's give him a call. How's it going? Good, good. Good to see you, man. Good to see you as well. Sorry about this. We're in a very no small, problem. small town in Arizona um, okay. that likely would not accept me as a human being. So, uh, you know, we, Henry, we've gone through three states already. Um, I don't know if Heidi has told you a little bit about the project, but we're on a, on a 10 day, 10 state documentary road trip. Uh, as someone who's toured the country, do you got any advice for me? Yeah, here's some advice. And I learned it from someone else that I'm going to tell you. It's very easy, as young and as healthy as you are, to get sick on the road. And you're in, a, you're in a vehicle, and everything gets passed around, you know, from COVID to the flu. So one of the ways to not get a cold on the road is to keep your body temperature constant because it's the ups and downs in temperature. And if you can prefer warmer over cooler. So say you go to a hotel at night, bundle, you know, don't you don't have to sleep naked. In fact, if you can stand... <laughs> pajamas and staying kind of warm like in your cold weather you could ward off a cold and i mean henry as as like one of the original og activists what what the hell is going on in this country right now well when you hear a politician say our democracy is broken that's an indicator that that politician is either trying to get away from the interviewer or that she or he doesn't know what's going on. Because the democracy that we're enduring in America right now, it's not broken. I would posit that it's working closer to what the founding fathers had envisioned, more closely to the model than ever before. So democracy's running as some people who didn't want women to vote yeah. wanted it to run. And so here we are in a country that, in my opinion, is gleefully running back towards the 1950s. And so what's going on, what's being said in back rooms is now being said during broad daylight. And so everyone from whatever generation realizes her or his importance and what they can do to maximize, Yeah. you know. I know stuff you don't know because I've been around the track a few more times. So that's how I could be an asset to you. Well, was it was it frustrating, like, growing up and, and being the only one that was pro-gay in a world that was really anti-gay? Like, like advocating for rights of people that the world just did not advocate for at that time? Well, it got a lot of threats, and it still gets me threats to this day. Um, I won't use the words, the F word. I get the, you're an F lover. Like those really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you're like, wow, man, who thinks like that? <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, you wish there's only five of them, but there's a lot of them. Yeah. And so I, I, I come from Washington, D.C., a super gay city. And my mom had gay friends growing up, but they were always like my favorite of my mom's friends, <laughs> you know, because they're just like they're always the nicest, you know. And so I was already and a lot of my bosses were gay. So as a teenager you were surrounded by it yeah and so in being gay it it, it, it was like so so I mean, what it, it wasn't a thing what the shock was was finding out how much of a thing it was to people like my father mm -hmm. like really man yeah. or people you'd meet in bands like oh come on not you and whether they know it or not gay people you're surrounded by them. I, I was at a MAGA rally in Beverly Hills last week, and I there were gay black people saying, uh, whatever, that were, that were vouching for Trump. I, that I, I don't understand, but, you know, homo sapiens, we're such a weird species. We got so much yeah. to work. <laughs> but um, I don't know what to tell you about that. I mean, because I, I can't figure it out. And some of the first people I met when I came out to California to be in a band were trans people. And some of them I wow. still know to this day, like 40 years later, like, wow, 
I feel more in common with you than people in my own family. Because I mean, you're kind of getting, you know, punched at by the same people. The LAPD didn't like us, didn't like the trans people or, or the, the, the gay uh, community. And I just, I was like, wow, these are, I don't know if I can say my people. That's a big yeah. thing. It's just a big, big brand. But I'm like, oh, this is at least the stripe that I'm from. Like, this is my tribe. Well, yeah. I mean, Henry, thank you so much. And I'm, I'm very interested. I mean, we're only in state three. But I'm very interested to see if this country is going to pick hope over division. So we'll report back. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I have no crystal ball on this one. I'm just, just I gotta... voted waiting around, you know, just fairly nervous. Well. Here's one thing you're going to find in the United States when you drive across it, as, as I've done many times. You're going to meet a lot of really great people. It's, it's even in states you might be surprised the, the amount of hospitality and genuine friendliness might surprise you. Mm-hmm. 